All right, yeah, so let's switch it over to boxing. I know you're a big boxing fan. I'm a big boxing fan. So September 20th, you got Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel Charlo. Uh, who, who, who do you like in that fight? Man, uh, I'm, so I'm this is this, I'm I'm biased on this question because I don't fuck with the, I don't fuck with Charlo the Charlos I don't fuck with uh, Earl Spence I don't fuck with nobody that's in that camp for the week for like the most petty reason and that's because uh, because of the Tony you know he beat he beat Tony you know what I'm saying they was talking all that shit so Tony my man I, I tell niggas all the time like why you hate Charlo like bro if if Errol Spence beat your ass around, I don't fuck with him, dog. I don't fuck with that nigga at all. And you can you my man. You get what I'm saying? And he was he be talking crazy. So I'm going with Canelo. I want Canelo to knock his ass out, bro. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I respect I respect them. I respect him. I respect I know they I know how cold they are. And this is this and the third, but it's 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 really one hundred percent because he beat Tony them time. You know what I'm saying? But so yeah, I'm going. I'm going with Canelo. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. I go, I'm going Canelo in this one. I mean, don't get me wrong. Jamel Charlo's a, a very good fighter, but uh, I, also I, I I think Canelo's gonna. I think he's just gonna. He's gonna be the better guy. I think it's gonna go the distance, and I think Canelo's gonna be the more points. I don't think either guy gets knocked out, but I'm gonna go with Canelo on that one as well. Sure. I'm gonna tell you something though. I'm gonna tell you something. Even though, even though, I'm biased to the to the whole camp. Derek James, like. Uh, even Anthony Joshua over there now, fuck him too. Uh, Ryan Garcia, fuck him too, right? Uh, I think I think Canelo is gonna stop Charlo, bro. Okay. What, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna stop late, late ninth. Ten. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be similar to Caleb Plant. But it's gonna be something like that. Like it's gonna look good at the beginning, you know. But when he when he kind of get through that and and the shit start still start happening. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be too much. And I like. And this is me taking the bias out. Just taking like, fuck, fuck the Charlos, fuck the hell camp. Out, taking all that out. I just. I think it's gonna be similar to the Caleb Plant thing. Maybe like if the Caleb Plant fight ended in the ninth or something like that, or the eighth, if I'm remembering right. Uh, you know, maybe the ninth or the tenth. Canelo gonna completely figure him out and just, and just kind of, outbox him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I'm not, I'm I'm running with Canelo on that one too. Tomorrow, Charlo only has one loss, so I, I think he's gonna get number two right here. Though I think he's gonna get number two. Yeah, and, and my thing is, bro. The thing about the thing about that, though, you know, those fights with Tony. Mm-hmm. You know, in all reality, you know, this is you know a level of it might be me being biased, and people, you know, people always got shit to say. But the fight that Tony actually won, right? I feel Tony outboxed him, right? Taking the bias out, taking the bias out. I think Tony outboxed him, and now I think he had a yeah he had the belt. So you know the whole boxing, the boxing shit. The, you know he got a belt. You got to out really out beat the champion and all this stuff. But I think if you took that shit away and just watched the fight, I think Tony had beat him. I think Tony was winning the second fight. I believe it was up until the eleventh round. Like, I think he was winning that fight, and he just got caught, and it, you know, and it, and it was over at that point. But I, you know, I had that fight up, and then the third one, you know, by that time it was kind of like, you know, whatever, and it, it just, it just was all bad. But, um, but yeah, man. Yeah. So uh, October twenty eighth, Francis Ngannou versus Tyson Fury. Who do you, who do you like in that fight? Oh, Tyson Fury, bro. Tyson Fury. If if, if he, that's the MMA dude, right? Yeah, and Ngannou's coming out the UFC. Yeah. You see, yeah. If 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 he just like all this, like when when Floyd fought McGregor and whoever, you know, what I'm saying, like it's gonna be the same thing, bro. Is what he if, if 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 he actually takes it, you know. I don't think he's gonna like fight him. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like a sparring match. And dude mm-hmm. gonna gas, and then he's just gonna pick him apart. I don't think he's gonna knock him out, you know, because it's for it ain't no real fight, you know what I'm saying? He just it's gonna be just like watching McGregor and, and Floyd and whoever oh, when Floyd go over to uh Abu Dhabi and fight whoever. You know, might end it in the second round just on the accident, but you know, hitting with a with a body shot and drop him or some crazy shit like that. Man, Tyson Fury is a monster, bro. He's he, we had we be having this argument at the store. 
came through the store, it was like, who is Ty he, he would argue that Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight ever. Mm. And it's, and then you think about it though. Think about think about it. styles make fights, right? This yeah. nigga is six, seven, six, eight, or something like six, that. Or six six nine. Six nine. Yeah. Damn it, three hundred pounds, and he ain't the he not quick, like his hands is quick. He, he not like, bro. Uh, Wilder dropped him. This nigga got up and and rocked him, and, and it had the first you know first fight was a draw, and then the second couple fights. I think he. I personally think, and my man was saying the same thing. I think uh, Mike Tyson would, would be. I think he would have jab Mike Tyson to death. You know what I'm saying? And, Maybe it would have been a good fight. It, it, I mean, it's arguable, he, right? He's yeah, so much taller than Mike Tyson. He's six That's what nine. I'm saying. Tyson's what about five ten, five eleven? I think. I think they said Mike uh five like five eight or something like that. I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? I think. I think the only per I the, the person I said the two people I said. Think about this: Muhammad Ali was like six two, six or six three, two hundred twenty pounds. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like he's still standing crazy tall over Muhammad Ali. Right. The only people I said that I think might have given him, you know, to be an argument is Riddick. I mean, not Riddick, but well, Riddick both. The one nigga said Riddick both. I say Lennox Lewis and uh, and um, like George Foreman or somebody like that. Maybe you know what I'm saying? Just because George Foreman, Evander Holyfield, little as hell. I just think he would he would outbox him and jab them niggas, bro. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's just so big. How many? How many guys in the heavyweight division are almost seven feet? They got the, the height right. and the reach and the size. He's just yeah, so and big. if they and if they are, if they, it's a, it's a one duffel got his name. That he not a you know he not like one of them one of them level fighters, but you know he's just like George Mirasan or just like just a big you know can't move, just gonna stand there and get hit. Now if he catch you, yeah, but but you know Tyson Fury be he's he's slick, bro. He slick. Yeah, for sure. Now, don't get me wrong. Francis Zagano was a bad boy. He was a bad boy in uh, the UFC. He, he's one of the hardest hitter heavyweights. He's big. He can definitely knock people out. But when these UFC fighters get into the boxing ring, they be fish out of water. And uh, especially going against a, a seasoned guy like Tyson Tyson Fury. So, yeah, I, I like Fury in that fight. I don't think Ngannou is going to win it. I think they're, they're going to sell it. A lot of people are going to watch it just because how dominant Ngannou was in the UFC. But yeah. he's not going to be able to come in the box and do that, especially against somebody like Fury. Yeah, and the worst, the worst part about that, the you know, the bad part about it is that, and he's probably going to make the most money he's ever made. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's fucked up, but that's the difference of boxing. But you know, just like if Tyson Fury went to UFC, if Floyd went to UFC, them niggas, he wouldn't, be, they wouldn't be able to fuck with them niggas, man. That's what they do. It's like a, a nigga that. Yeah, you might can you might be an athlete, but I play in the NBA, bro. All right, you know what I'm saying? Like you, it might you might get a couple points or whatever, but I'm gonna win a game. Just like if I go if I'm in the NBA, LeBron James, and I go play football, somebody gonna come across smack smack this nigga helmet off, and he go he ain't gonna want to get up. Right. Yeah, for sure. So so what about you? Would you would you do a like a celebrity boxing match? Would you would you get in the ring? I did one. I did. I did one. Me and my man, at six a.m. It was more of a, like a just just sparring. Um, I, I I'm forty four, dog. <laughs> yeah, like I'm kind of at the at the point in my life I'm doing that. Sh I'm doing that if I have to. You know, what I'm I like I box and all that shit to have the skill that, that like if 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 it happens, I ain't thinking about it. I'm just kind of like you know. But I mean, I'm 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 I just got back to it. I'm about to start sparring, but. I don't hate nobody. I don't even have that energy to want to go at somebody like that, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, 25 year old nigga with all this energy and all this, I ain't you, know, you got it, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about, I'm about to, uh, I'm about to start sparring again. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of, but like, you know, light sparring. Not, not, I, ain't, I ain't trying to take nobody head off. I ain't trying to take my head off. Yeah, for sure.